Hey guys, what's up? It's Catrice and welcome back to another edition of The Confidence Brew. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a superpower that we as humans possess, but I don't think that we take advantage of it. And if enabled, I believe that it could push us, launch us swiftly in the direction of our goals and dreams. So if you are starting a new journey, heading off on a new adventure, maybe just starting a new project, and you're curious about what that superpower is, well then, come on, let's chat. For me, it all started when I came across these two girls who were having this in-depth conversation about relationships. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to jump in. I wanted to be like, excuse me, no one deserves to be treated that way. You are worth more than that. You deserve better than that. In a relationship, you should not feel unseen, unheard. In a relationship, you should not feel disrespected. And if you are having these feelings, you have to be able to show people how to treat you. And after you have done that, you also have to recognize when you're not being treated the proper way and be willing and able and strong enough to walk away. That's what I wanted to say. But these girls didn't know me and I know that they would not have appreciated me jumping into their conversation. So I let them be because I knew that they would come to some kind of agreement, even though I have a feeling it was probably gonna be the wrong one. Why do I have a feeling it was gonna be the wrong one? Well, because I was looking at these two girls and I was being nosy and listening to their conversation. And I realized that, man, we just really got the blind leading the blind over here. All this girl needs to do, and I was hoping, in my heart of hearts, I'm like, I hope, I hope you have a mom somewhere that you can ask this question to. I hope you have another friend who has maybe gone through this, maybe somebody who's a little bit older who's had some experience in here, because really, at the end of the day, this is simple. What was done to you was wrong, and you just need to walk away with your head held high. Um, but I think they were just trying to find their way through it. What did she do wrong? What she, what, what could she have done better? And it reminded me of how important it is to make sure that we are creating an environment for success. We as humans get a chance to build an environment that is conducive to our success or to our demise, honestly. I think that we all understand how important it is to have a network built around us, right? You've heard of the term networking. And in that network, I think that we rely so much on our family and friends. And so when we talk about that, it's like, yeah, you gotta have a strong network. So you not only need to have a strong network, you need to have a strong environment that is set up around you for success. And I think that we do that but we don't realize that we are. And then when it comes to starting something new, we haven't taken the extra time to build up a strong environment for that new venture. For example, if there were something wrong with my car, I'm gonna take my car to the auto shop. That is the environment that I have built up for success for my car. I've also built up a network of people in which I trust when I drop my car off, I know who works at the front desk, I know who pay, I pay my money to, and I know the mechanic that is working on my car. For me, it is important for my success to make sure I know how my car is being taken care of when I drop it off. And I would never solicit my mechanic for advice on my hair or about my teeth. I would never do that because I have environments, networks set up for each of those things. And when it comes to those two girls, I feel like she was doing the right thing. She was on the right track. She knew that she needed to reach out. She needed to expand out into her network to get a little bit more information back. But 
what I was realizing is that girl just didn't know what she didn't know. She didn't know how else to help her except for to be the friend in that situation. And by golly, I will let you know, regardless of whether or not I think the information she was giving was right or wrong, she was being a great friend. But if you're starting out on a new journey and all you are is surrounded by people who have done the same thing, things that you are doing and they have not stepped outside the box before, well, and how are they going to provide you with the guidance, the help, and the push that you need? Another example, hypothetically say you're starting school and you decide that you want to start school, but nobody in your network has ever done the school thing before. So the next thing you know, you're tired, you have tests coming up and you're telling people how tired you are and how much you wanna take a break and the people who have never been in this situation before see this as an impossible task and they're like, yeah, take a break, go to sleep. And it's not because that they're bad friends, it's because they don't know anything else. They're like, I don't understand why you would do this to yourself in the first place, like take a nap. But in reality, if you've built up a stronger network, a network of people who have gone to school, a network of people who have gone through some obstacles, a network of people who have been tired and have pushed through, they're able to ask you some additional questions. They're able to give you some additional information from the experience that they've gone through. And now all of a sudden, it's not the blind leading the blind, it's somebody who's had success in that field who can give you information on how to be successful. And that's what we want at the end of the day. Same thing goes if I'm trying to get in better shape. I'm gonna get tired. I'm gonna not want to, you know, eat the salad. I'm gonna wanna have all the brownies instead. And so if I'm having a conversation with a friend who's never been on a shape up journey before, and I tell them like, I'd rather have the brownies. And if they're a good friend and they want me to feel good about myself, they're gonna be like, yo, just eat the brownies. What's the problem? I don't see any issues. But if I have built up another network in which people are on that healthy journey and are, again, overcoming those obstacles, that's gonna give me the fuel that I need because that's the direction I want to go. So I encourage you, if you are doing something, starting something new, if you are in progress to something that it is you want, make sure that you have a network and you have built an environment that is going to help push you in the direction of success. And on that note, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> and if you wanna hang out, hang out for some more confidence brews, hit the bell notification. It'll let you know when I'm here and we can hang out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.